Hi everybody, Jo here again. Do you know what? I just thought I'd pop in with an extra little video this week. I've been trying to put a few extra little videos together and I've been so thrilled with the messages I've received and how many of you love to just pop in and share a little bit of special crafty time with me. And I do appreciate all your comments and all your feedback. So I thought I'd try and find a couple of minutes just to pop in and have a catch up with you. I know we're not normally together on a Friday. So I thought this week we'd have a bit of a change. Now, I've been on grandma duties. It's still Easter holidays here, so it's been a bit hectic. But you've just caught me today creating. I've got a workshop at the weekend and I'm making tags for all my lovely ladies. And you've just caught me. I'm putting the threads. And these ones, it was when I'd got to this stage and I thought, do you know what? I need one more. I've been batch tag making and I thought, I think you might like to join me and see how I make them. So we'll just thread this one, look, and then we'll make our last one. I love these threads and they're all different, look. And this is just the beautiful craft yarns look. And I love this. We've got a bit of green in this one. Anyway, so I'll put those to one side. As I say, this is the design we're, we're going after. I make them all the same but different. So if you notice, I've done some double stenciling and I've used a couple of different colours of ink. So this one here, I've used Mermaid and Sahara. This one, Mermaid and Pine. So I think we'll go for mermaid and pine. So I'm going to put those on one side. So how are you keeping? Are you doing okay? I hope you are. I know a few have been struggling a minute at the minute and I know some of you are looking after relatives and it's not easy. I've been there when Mikey was poorly and, and it is very difficult and my heart does go out to you. So you know what? I'm just so thrilled that you can come in, spend a bit of time with me. And if it means that it just makes you feel bit better and you can go and look after your loved one almost with a little bit more oomph and you've just got that peace in yourself to almost because it is tiring it's wearing and you have to look after yourself as well so do you know what use me I'm, I'm more than happy with that and for those of you who listen to me before you go to sleep I don't mind that either <laughs> do you know what takes all sorts doesn't it I'm just chuffed that you come in and join me at all to be honest when I started this and had sort of one follower I did say to Carl you know what, we'll be lucky if we ever get to. So obviously I'm so chuffed with how many subscribers we've got to. So I've gone for the large watercolour tags from Lavinia. I do love these, very good quality. It's watercolour card, so it leaves you wide open for adding water, adding brush shelves, so many things you can do. Now for these, the first thing I'm going to do is stamp. And it's this beautiful wild poppy stamp. And I'm just going to use the black, the Nocturne Versa Fine Claire. And I like to do my stamping first, you know me. I'll give it a good inking. And I just want to put it somewhere sort of here. When I say all the tags are the same, they're sort of similar. I don't like to say the same because even when I'm batch card tag making or batch card making, you know what? They don't all end up the same at all. I don't know about you. I tend to put little quirks on them. So we'll just give that a bit of a blot. And then I'm just going to come in with my black pen and just ground it a little. A couple of dots. Not overthinking it. And then we're going to do the double stenciling. Now, I've not done this for a while and it's such a fun technique. I know you love it. And when you're doing this, you really need to look for a stencil that's got a quite a lot of open space. So this is lattice, perfect for this. And I'm teaming it up today with leaf trails. So we're going to get our inks ready and I think we'll do mermaid and pine for this. So I'm just going to move my tag to one side. I need to check you can still see it. 
and we'll sort of put that there make sure you haven't got any edges you know what it's like before now I've, if you look at the top and then you get to the bottom and see you've got a line there so just spend a bit of time we'll pop it there and a little tip I always put one edge down the edge of the tag then I just know it's straight look so we'll take the lids off we're going to use the mermaid first so get my mermaid brush and my pine brush ready no tell a poor kit what color am i using first i'm going to use the green first see i nearly did it mind you, it wouldn't matter but I want it to match. So take that back, rewind. Do you know what, if it was clever, I could rewind. So we're actually coming in with the pine. So as I say, the first colour is the pine. <laughs> it's a good job you know what I'm like, isn't it? And I'm just going to come sort of around the poppy. And then just up here, I don't want to cover the whole thing. And if I just lift that up, look, oh yeah, that's lovely. Don't want any more than that. So I'll pop the lid on. And then, if you remember, on top, for this double stenciling, we put the st second stencil on top. And we're just going to angle that there. And now we're going to come in with the lovely blue. And again, round the poppy. And just up here, into the lid. Don't want it too strong just into this bottom corner and depends how much I like a bit of white space so I don't want to cover the whole tag and if I lift them both up together there we go that's plenty look if I lift them up together you can see so you've got that second stencil through the first and I love that and we've still got white space now to clean my stencils, I spritz them with water and look, this is one of my spare backgrounds I got by spritzing that stencil. How fabulous is that? Can't wait to use that. So that's my two for my extra one for later. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the blue all the way around just to sort of frame it. I like to frame things. I don't want to bring it too far in because I don't want to lose that lovely white space. And then, just to mop that ink up look, just going to get that with my fan brush and just add some lovely speckles. And then we'll give it a spritz and we will clean it up. get rid of that now what I tend to do is I'm going to leave the front to dry before I tackle the back but if I show you all I've done on the back is put my stencil on and just added some ink around and again at the end just spritz it uh, with a little bit of water and that ink pick it up with your fan brush So we'll just pop our heat tool, just to speed that up. Now again, you know me at home, I leave it and just let it dry naturally. But if you need to speed it up, just speed it up. Now on separate paper look, I've stamped my lovely mini butterfly. And as you know, I love to do, I've used my watercolour pencils and some winker colouring. So that's using a wink of Stella brush instead of a water brush. And I love this. And I have to say, I'm so chuffed to see so many other people using this now. Absolutely made my day. And we're going to pop this somewhere there. So we'll just, while that's drying, we'll just add the lovely antennae. And I've got my 3D glue gel. So these tags, you know, they don't take that long. So if you fancy doing some double stenciling, have a go. I'd love you to tag me in. Oh, to get it, tag me in on social media because I just think the effect is wonderful. Now you could do a matching card to go with this. So that's just my 3D glue gel. Just because, so it's a bit raised. 
and I like a little bit of depth. Finishing touches, Posca and hopefully it's dry enough now just to add just a couple of and then we'll come in with some splats over the poppies. I look, just think it shows up and over the butterfly shows up really well. And you know what, ladies and gents? That's all there is to it. But shh, don't tell the ladies who I've made these for because I'm going to tell them it's taken me all week to make them. So as I say, if I bring one of the other ones in, just again to remind you the back, just with the ink, so you've got that lovely cohesive design. But I think they are fabulous. And as I say, just you can alter your colours. I mean, I actually think the pink, the confetti would look lovely coming through there. What do you think? I know a lot of ladies, especially craft ladies like blue, I'm becoming aware of that. Although purple seems to be a bit of a hot favourite at the minute. See, I'm still an orange girl at heart for me. What's your favourite colour? Let me know. Anyway, I'm going to wait for this one to dry. So while it's drying, I'm just going to take my threads and thread the rest of them. And then I'm all ready. Just need to pack my bag, ready for the workshop tomorrow. Oh, and get myself a cheeky brewing biscuit ready to take. Maybe a little snack as well. So I hope you have a lovely weekend and as always, thanks for popping in, spending a bit of time with me. You take care of yourself and remember, be kind to each other. It's such a lovely community on here, there's no need for negative comments. What is it, Sir Tim says, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And I have to say, fabulous words of advice that, because do you know what, it's lovely to say something nice and then you can pass it on. I love smiling at people when I'm walking Eric. I think they're used to me now, sort of around here. But it's amazing just saying hello to somebody as you walk. And then they might say hello to the next person. And then just pass it on like that. We're so lucky, aren't we? Anyway, I've rabbited on enough. Thanks for popping in. Moustache. I'll see you again on Monday. You take care. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now. <laughs>